In this video, we're going to show you how to install the cam position sensor on your Nissan Frontier located on the driver's side rear of the engine. With the hood open, we're going to use a 10 millimeter wrench to get loose in this nut and disconnect the ground terminal off of our battery. Go ahead and wiggle that off and just tuck that aside. Now on the back side of our valve cover, we have our sensor right here. Now this is basically positioned right on the back of the cylinder head, but it's kind of angled. It's like a 33 degree angle roughly. And on the bottom side of this connector is a 10 millimeter bolt. Only way you can really get to it is to reach down along the back side. And I'm gonna use a quarter inch ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to feed my hand right down on the back side and I'm going to remove that 10 millimeter bolt and then I'm going to pull the sensor up with the harness attached to it. Now I'm just going to use a small pry bar here to reach down and just gently assist on popping that out while I grab that by hand. He's usually held in with an O-ring. There we go. Pull it straight back and out. And here is the unit right here. Now that we have the sensor out with the harness attached to it, we want to focus on this. These green connectors for the Nissans, they're not a pinch tab. It's actually a push tab. You push it in, you can actually see that that is going inward. Now, sometimes there might be sand or debris inside here. You can use a blow gun and just kind of gently blow in there or use some spray uh, lube to put in there and get that to start to work. Now, what you want to do is push this in. It takes quite a bit of effort to do this. You push that in and it actually locks into place. Then grab that sensor and pull that out. You want to be careful not to damage the connectors. I'm just using a small pair of pliers here and I'm going between these two right here. Gently squeeze it just that little bit extra right there. You can just feel it and then it stops and boom. It almost pops the sensor right out, out of the position there. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. All right, so take the sensor, you know, line that up and you're gonna push it in and it's going to automatically release the green lock tab once that's pushed in all the way. There it is, and the green lock tab has popped back into place. Now I have a little bit of fresh motor oil in a little cap here. I'm going to rub it on that O-ring and around the sensor. And this is ready to install. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this down, and we'll insert that back in to the back side of the cylinder head area. Once you have that installed, go ahead and push that in. Kind of twist that sensor a little bit. It's just going to pop in past that O-ring. And go ahead and take your bolt here. Get that into the sensor. And what you might have to do is actually rotate that sensor a little bit to get that bolt to line up with the hole. All right, once we get it in there, let's go ahead and snug that down. Now the sensor itself has a metal sleeve where the bolt goes through. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is snug. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you do want to make sure that it's snug. So 
So once that bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. All right, the sensor is in, the connector is on. Now at this point here, we're gonna reconnect the battery for the vehicle. If you have any check engine lights, you wanna go ahead and clear those, go ahead and start up the vehicle, test it out, and at that point there, you're all set. Install the ground terminal and tighten down the nut here. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.